Okay, so yeah, that was some song by Evergreen Terrace. I didn't have it in front oh, of me. Plowed. Plowed. So, uh, yeah, and uh, we're back uh, broadcasting live from the Millennium Student Center at Umzel. Uh, this is Mo's Super Fun, the local show. I am in the studio with our last words. Uh, we, we left off talking about some uh, different shows they've played and promoters they've worked with. Um, looks like you've opened for some other bands, too. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, Phineas, Death of an Era, Forever at Last. Forever at Last was a good show. Not that a lot a, of people came out, but it was a fun show to play. Mm-hmm. Forever at Last is I, great. I really, yeah, they were a really good band, too. Well, yeah, no, I've actually heard of them. Mm-hmm. So yeah. that must mean something, because, again, <laughs> I don't do the metal thing much. I, yeah. I got to really like your band. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's it seems like you said you've only really been playing out besides for, like, the the couple little, like, talent shows and the... The ex girlfriend's birthday party where uh, <laughs> you uh you got like the cops called because he told you to turn down tell and you turned story. up. So oh, you're turning up just to feel alive, story. literally. <laughs> actually. That's a fun story. Tell a story. Um, all right, that. so that was probably in about uh March of twenty thirteen. So that was a while back. But so we got asked to play at an ex girlfriend of mine's birthday party. She was dating a good friend of mine and he asked us to play and I was like, oh, Yeah, we can do that. They paid us like two hundred dollars, and I was like, "Yeah, that's the most we've ever been paid before in our lives." <laughs> so, still true. So, uh, back then we were still a cover band, so we just played a bunch of covers. We played like eight songs or something like that, and, and in the middle of one of our songs, the owner walks in, and once we got done playing the song, I think it was the final episode by Asking Alexandria, uh, he comes up to me, got right in my face, and he said, "If you guys don't turn down, the next guy that walks in here is gonna be wearing a blue shirt and a badge with a gun," and I was just like. Okay. And so I walked to the back. I, I t- actually did turn down a tiny bit, but then we started to play the next song. I realized I couldn't hear anything, and the other guys were just like, screw that. We're not going to turn down. So then I turned turn up. Turn down for what? <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> so anyways, we played the next song. I think it was Plot to Bomb the Panhandle by Day to Remember. And at the very end of the song, the, just the power in the whole place shuts off. Uh-huh. So we're sitting there like, did this guy, did this guy really shut the power off to the whole place because he wanted us to turn down? Uh, but it turns out some car hit a power line nearby and the, like, blew yeah, up. transformer blew up. That happened to me once at Fubar. But, the cops, <laughs> but then the cops did show up. The cops did show way. up and they kicked us out. They said we had like 30 minutes to get all of our stuff out of there. And then the power came back on. Do you remember? Do you remember when we like were like before we loaded out? Like the kids next door were having like that prom or whatever. Uh-huh. Yeah. And oh yeah, there was it was a holy fam like a, a Catholic school prom going on next door. That was that was fun. And like I was in the bathroom because our bass and it was player... a house. No, no, it no, was, it was a, a KC hall. KC oh, hall. Oh okay, okay. For some reason I thought it was a house. I'm like they had a prom at their house. <laughs> no, it was like so next door they had that, and then across there was bingo. Oh okay. <laughs> which was oh, it was God. the dumbest combination in history. But the but, kids from the prom came to hang out with yeah. us. Because we were in the bathroom, our, uh, our other bass gra- player, Connor. Not the grandmas from the bingo? <laughs> no. Actually, we did get some, some grandmas yeah. from bingo talk yeah. to us. And they were just like, I don't know why they're telling you to turn down. You guys sound good. <laughs> and I was like, you probably can't hear like, us. So. <laughs> so, so you remember when Connor got a nosebleed and went to the bathroom? Oh, yes. Yeah. He like ran to the bathroom when the power went out because he got like a nosebleed. And these dudes in the bathroom were just like, you look like, do you know who Miss May I is? And I'm like, oh, this again. And they're just like, you look like Levy from Miss May I. I'm like, well, we're, we're metal band next door if you want to come by and hang out for an acoustic set. So I just I just went to the car and got an acoustic and we just started playing acoustic and they all just started coming over from the prom and hanging out until they kicked us out and the power that's came legit, back on. That's legit though. That's that's a good backup. That's that's smart. <laughs> no, that's seriously because like that doesn't just happen at halls. I, I I was at Foo Bar, gosh, it, almost a year ago, maybe a little little less. Uh, and it was like it was some some show. Uh, contenders were playing. A couple bands were playing. Pop punk show. Small talk I think was playing and uh, get at me. But anyway, um. Like, all of a sudden, like, the power just went out. We're like, what What the crap is this? Uh, and I, we went outside, and, like, the entire side of the street was just dead. I never did find out if just it was a transformer that blew or there was a car accident or what. But they just shut the entire show down. We waited, like, 20 minutes, and they were just like, yeah, everybody go home, bye. <laughs> like, <laughs> did, oh, did yeah. we finish that show by candlelight or something? Uh, yeah, we did. We played three acoustic songs, and then that's when we got kicked out. Uh, and then probably like two weeks later, we ended up playing like a grad party for a friend of ours, and we got the cops calling us again because we were outside in nice. a neighborhood. Oh, that was the worst. So that was so hard to sing because it rained all day and it was like mm-hmm. ninety degrees. And then as soon as we like played the first song, it was just like he were exhaling to sing, but it was just like, 
like you just hit in the face with yeah, the warm you, air. It but that sucked. was that was fun. So <sighs> it was sounds fun, like you guys have had some interesting times. This this seems like a, a Granite City thing though. Uh, <laughs> every every Granite band I've ever met or person for the most part uh, knows how to party. Yeah, for <sighs> I feel. I, I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's just an observation. But uh, I mean, Kuvi's from Granite. <laughs> and uh, the former me are from Granite. Oh, yeah, the former me. Uh, Shout out to them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, actually, uh, you know, they're, they're, good, they're good friends of mine. They were the first band I ever had in here. Oh, really? That's awesome. Uh, we have no record of it. <laughs> <laughs> no proof. No. Not my fault. No, the, uh, the, the, we have a task I'm sitting right here. And after the second time <laughs> we had an interview in, the, uh, the archive files did not record to archive. Like it just broadcasted and was not recorded anywhere. I I asked that we have a backup, but the first time I had any band in here, it was before we were doing video at all. Uh, the former me came in. And everybody but Killian and Adam were here, uh, so it was at that point Travis and uh, I was before Matt Grimsley joined. So Travis, Dylan, uh, Ryan, or no, Killian was here. Adam was the only one that wasn't here. And uh, great show. They played some acoustic stuff. We promoted whatever they had coming up and they left and I went to pull the archive and there was nothing there. So I was just like, sorry guys, it's, it's lost in space. And then I had the faded truth in, uh, earlier. I think it was like my second band this semester and uh, we had the video, but we didn't have the, uh, audio record to archive. So th there's no record of that either, but yeah, no great dudes. I need to get them back in soon. They've got a lot of fun stuff going on. Oh, yeah. Um, Another band that has a lot of fun stuff going on is Isabella. All right. So what do you guys, you guys know and have you met them or just We haven't them? met them, but. You uh, guys both have a live video done by Visionary Media, though. Yeah, yeah. That was when I, I first saw them. Uh, as a, they sponsored a video for Endgame, that Visionary mm -hmm. Media, and we saw that. It was our our live video for our song, Hashtag Penelope. It was the most viewed video on Visionary Media until, like, the ne <laughs> next week when Isabella came out with theirs, and they just smoked us out of the water with views on there. That is an amazing song, though. It the is. Video is really I agree. Good too. I was really digging that song. So, so uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure they record at uh, Encapsulated with Matt Amalung. So okay. I may be wrong on that, but I want to say they do. Yeah, that recording uh, is solid. So. No, it's it's legit. So why don't we listen to that? And uh, you can see Isabella May 7th at Pops for the Road to Point Fest Grand Finals. And uh, if you can't make that, then they're battling for the main stage. You can see them at Point Fest, yeah. whether they're main stage or not. So yeah, this is Isabella with In Game. <laughs> 